So you mentioned electric vehicles. You, yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know. I've never seen you <laughs> comment on Tesla. Sorry, Ira. There we go. I mean, it's a combination of a <laughs> lot of every things. podcast. All right. <laughs> you have any thoughts on Tesla here? Well, it's it's remarkable that the how well Tesla's performed versus the other fangs in the last month. Then you have pretty respectable investors like Mark Lazary came out and uh, talked up the credit. That was like a month ago. So I would he talked would, up the converts. Yeah, talk to, yeah, I think but this, converts are a different animal than yeah. But but I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're a, if you're a Tesla equity investor, you have to watch the bonds. And um, the last couple of months, uh, the bonds have actually been performing better than they were, say, in March, right? Well, they're 86 cents, yeah. 87 cents. You know, yeah, so they're up three points from the lows. Right, but that's <laughs> not indicative of a company with a 60 billion dollar equity no. valuation with you know it, it's over 10 billion in, in debt. I just don't understand the disconnect of. I get it. I get market technicals. I get short interest. You're a smart guy. I know you don't do necessarily individual stock selection, but I, I believe that Tesla will be the name that's associated with this downturn, meaning it's lured a lot of retail investors in. Yeah. It's a tangible product that's out there. It's going to blow up, and people are going to be left holding the bag. The SEC was late. The DOJ was late. And I believe the SEC didn't want to shut them down or didn't want to be too harsh because they knew they don't want to be blamed. When it's inevitable, potentially, what's going to happen? That's the part. You know, but I think it will be, it will be associated when people look back in 2018 or 19. Hey, what was that? Remember Tesla? My Enron in 2000, but it was yeah. the bubble. Lehman in 2008. Again, it's contained and it's fine. But I don't know. I well, just, here's the thing. It's a rule of thumb when you have a 52 billion dollar equity market cap, and then you have a a bond in the company. The company's corporate bond yields close to eight percent. Those two things don't Thank make you. sense. Thank you. They right. just, they don't make sense. If you have an 8% yield on your bond, the equity market cap should be like $10 billion or less. Okay, I'm so, with you. So it's, um, that's yeah, I, the, the warning sign is to watch the bonds. If those bonds, those bonds break $0.80, cents, uh, the, you're, think of the equity destruction because you still have $52 billion of equity. So if you're an equity investor, watch those bonds. Those bonds, those bonds break $0.80. Cents. That equity is going to lose. I knew you had it in you. Yeah. I knew that was deep in there on the Tesla <laughs> thing. So, 